<laughs> Hello everyone, and welcome back down here to the Gamer's Den with me, your host, Jordan, your Master of Lore and Storyteller Extraordinaire. Apologies for being late with uh, the what was supposed to be last Sunday's DM guide. Unfortunately, a Nerglite plague struck me over the weekend, and uh, I just haven't been feeling great. This has been my first opportunity to try to record, and joining me today is my most adorable co-host, Nora, journeyman storyteller and initiates to the Seventh Circle of Lore, uh, right over there. And she has actually gone about preparing the subject of today's topic, and that is music utilizing music for your storytelling your dming whatever game you might be throwing your players through music can add just that extra layer of engagement excitement and fun particularly when it's fit the theme really well but it is another thing for you to have to keep track of and at least personally for me it's one of those things that i really don't like leaving to other players because the direction on it can be can sometimes be a bit telling, uh, particularly if you've got something labeled boss fight music and you tell them to play that, then they'll know or the, the rest of the party will know. So it's something that you need to keep under your own control, but you need to do it in such a way that it doesn't add an undue amount of, uh, well, extra stuff for you to have to keep track of. And so preparing it ahead of time like with our notes and so many other things, can be a massive lifesaver. So, and one of the easiest ways I've found for doing that is, of course, by, well, just utilizing YouTube. Uh, YouTube, you can make different playlists and the like, so you can set things up with your own labels if you have a computer set up, or even if you're just using your phone, you can uh, click into those different playlists and have music appropriate to the theme that you need. Uh, one of the first problems I ever encountered with this was actually with one of my friend, previous friends DMing. He had uh, a third person just play the music, and the guy would just click on his computer and just let it run no matter what was playing. And so we'd be playing, you know, a D20 modern setting, and and uh, we'd be in this tense, high combat situation like this particular DM was fond of throwing at us. And we'd have music from The Hobbit playing, but from specifically for The Shire. And it's like, what, what the hell, man? I mean, just turn that off. Don't you have something else? And it's just a, it, and one example of why it's a good idea to keep it under your control. So that way you can kind of curate the music selection and make sure that you have something thematically appropriate to the situation at hand. Not that this is necessarily... Uh, a crucial component for gaming certainly if you're running a good story and the players are all on top of their game and they're paying attention and engaging with the story and one another then you know the music is just uh, it's not necessary but it is a nice added extra and to that end particularly for boss fights one of my favorite songs is actually this there we go ah <laughs> uh, I love it. This is from Final Fantasy Tactics, and this is uh, uh, the Lukavi theme. It's called the Perverted, and it's just uh, it's just really good. Can you imagine hyping up a big bad boss fight? You know, one particular character that they've been pursuing, that the players have been pursuing for um, several sessions. They finally meet him, and. Turns out, not only is he just a badass, but oh, holy shit, he's got something else entirely going on with him. Absolutely wonderful. This is incredible. And, you know, this, I should mention here, you know, fair use and everything. This is owned by uh, Square, well, now Square Enix. And, you know, this is all theirs. I'm just playing this little clip as an example of some good, engaging music, particularly for a boss fight. I mean, definitely, I'll post a link to that um, particular song in the description down below and, you know, all the legal fair use stuff and all that fun jazz. Um, don't need any copyright strikes or claims against me, but yes, music can be a wonderful way to engage your players and just really amp up in a, in a session to that next level and make it absolutely memorable and unforgettable. 
it's not the only thing you can do. Certainly, if you've been doing everything else I've been talking about for the last couple of years, you're probably getting some pretty solid to really good sessions uh, out of each night. Just by dint of the fact that you are preparing, you know the information, you have everything set up ahead of time and ready to roll. That's absolutely right, little one. Do you have anything to add or contribute to the overall proceedings here today? I see you've selected a wonderful tone, one that you have gnawed the corners on just a little bit. That's okay, though. You're trying to absorb knowledge through digestion, in, a, in the most literal of fashions. <laughs> uh, my most adorable co-host, everybody. But... That's basically the gist of what I wanted to talk about today. Set up a playlist ahead of time, whether that's via YouTube or if you just have your own music mix or whatever set up on your computer. Get everything curated and planned out ahead of time and just give very general labels like combat music, tavern, raid bar, or something, you know, literally whatever you need for the situation at hand. And as you can notice, my most adorable co-host and journeyman storyteller is uh, taking it upon herself to rearrange the books again, uh, creating more space, trying to uh, discover a more utilitarian function here. But uh, unfortunately, it's set up the way I like it, so I'll need to go back and fix it. We're going to go ahead and cut it short. I'm sorry today's video was so short, but we'll be ideally ready to go next Sunday and have another topic and subject ready to roll out for you. But until then, I've been your host, Jordan, your master of lore and storyteller extraordinaire. Thank you all so much for your time. You all have yourselves a good night.